Hey everybody, today we found a 2002 Pontiac Trans Am to show you. Stay with us on this video. Won't be a long one, but it's gonna be a quick one showing you what one looked like from back in 2002. And on top of that, it's a convertible. Here we go. All right, everybody, take a walk with us. We got to walk back a little ways here to the Pontiac Trans Am. You know, it's been several weeks where I've seen this vehicle just kind of sitting back here. And uh, I don't know, man, something about the Trans Ams from back in the day. Also the Pontiac, I believe it was the Firebird. Was that a Pontiac? Anyways, back in this era, 2002, 1999, you know, 99, 2001, graduating high school, you know, this was like the sports car to have, right? If you had a Pontiac Trans Am in this body style or a Firebird or a Camaro, or I don't know, the Mustang not as hot back then to me, but if you had one of these, man, you were, uh, you were doing something right. You either had a little bit of money, your parents had a little money, you're doing good, or I don't know, but what I do know is that you had something that was super sporty, really good looking and the chicks seemed to love getting in them and riding around and then on top of that if you had a convertible one oh boy if you as a guy owned one my oh my you were going to be having some fun especially here in south carolina where you got four different beaches you got the lake i mean there's just so much to do myrtle beach i mean i had a few friends with these man and they had a lot of fun in them so anyways, let's start looking at it. It's red, it's bright red, and uh, you may have owned one before or one similar to it. So there it is, a 2002 Pontiac Trans Am. Bright red in color, black convertible top. I think it's got to do with the black or dark gray leather interior. You know, one thing's for sure, the body's in really good shape on it. The paint still looks really nice. It's got a lot of shine to it. You know, it's got those classic old school pop-up headlights. You know, I'd say these years right here with these cars was kind of where they started phasing out the pop-up headlight. The Corvettes had them, right? Of course they did. But at some point there, the pop-up headlights started to phase out. And this is one of those cars I remember where the headlights were phasing right on out and they were doing away with them. Um, also a vehicle that kind of reminds me of this was the Mitsubishi GT3000, I believe it was, or the, uh, the Stealth, Dodge Stealth. Um, kind of similar in how the body is shaped with the pop-up lights and all. And they also made aftermarket headlights where you can get rid of the pop-ups and have the projectors in there. So all kinds of cool modifications to be done to this car. The body on this one though is in good shape. It is definitely for sale if somebody wants it. I don't know exactly why it's been sitting back here for weeks or months. You know, it could have a few things that need to be fixing on it. But one thing's for sure, it's in not bad shape. Um, there's this, you got the fogs in there, the blinkers over here, I believe, then the headlights right there. Um, you got these nostrils on here that, I mean, I call them nostrils because that's really what kind of comes to mind when I look at that. It's like, looks like it's breathing at you, those nostrils, you know? Um, but let's see if we can look under here and check out this motor. Oh boy. Wow, we look at that. So, I mean, there's the motor. You got a diehard battery in there. Probably had some kind of aftermarket stereo and subs in here. I mean, back in the 2000s and the 90s, man, you wanted subwoofers in your car, even in a car like this. Um, two shocks to hold the hood up, but let's see. Um, I don't know exactly what size liter engine this is, so I'm looking on around to see what we can find out. Oh boy. 5.7 liter that's a pretty big size v8 under a pretty lightweight fiberglass bodied car kind of gives you that chevy corvette feel you know it's a lightweight sports car with a big motor and it very clean under here guys and girls i mean you got your intake here all that there very clean Anyways, I definitely will find out more about this when the owner gets back in town. He's out of town right now um, doing some car shopping. But uh, yeah, this is fully functional, as you can see. But I mean, it's in really good shape, guys and girls. Let's keep looking around, right? 
here's the wheels those are the oem i think they're polished aluminum they're i don't know they could be chrome they to me they look like a polished aluminum wheel um i would guess they're 17s let's see what we can find out 275-40-ZR-17. Why did I guess 17? Well, hey, they look like 17s, but also 17-inch rims were kind of the 20s of the day, or 22s nowadays, or 20 whatever, but 17-inch rims were considered to be pretty big wheels to get on your car back in the early 2000s. I know I always wanted a pair of 17s, and if you had a pair of 18s or 19s, whoa, you know, and 20s were man you're really doing something special the uh the roof pretty good shape i don't see any major rips okay a little bit of discoloring going on but i think all this could be cleaned up back windows in good shape let's see if we can look at the inside of course we can how about that man the car gods are leaving a few of these cars open today for us you got power windows power door locks how about that auto up down feature on driver passenger side back in the day leather interior i'm sure this video is definitely bringing back some memories for some of y'all that might have owned one of these or a girlfriend or a friend had one automatic kimwood stereo system there you go look at that got 150 mile per hour on the speedometer and 240 on the kilometers red lines out at 6,000 rpm man this was a beast of a vehicle to drive and you got a little bit of room to sit your butt right back in there kind of a little bucket seats in the back seats really aren't in that bad of shape to be as old as the car is let's see if there's a way to actually open up the trunk for a moment uh, of course the batteries are dead so that's not going to happen but you know also the deck the spoiler was really just built right into the car i mean look at that starts there and Build, it builds right into the trunk. I mean, there is no gap here or hole at all. The entire trunk, it's all built in. So you got that. I bet somebody made a, another spoiler you could put on top of this spoiler and you have yourself a bookshelf, as they used to call it back in the day. I always liked the taillights on the back of this car, man. They had that honeycomb look about it, right? Pretty sweet. And um, like the logos, you know? WS6 performance package so this is probably a uh, uh one of the cars like this that people saw out sought out to go get you know so anyways we definitely have to put that in the title of the video but the body's in great shape guys if you've been looking for one of these well guess what your boy chad just found it it's right here on charleston car videos today i don't know the current price of it i don't know a whole lot about it but as i will tell y'all if you're interested in it message me send me what you want to know and I'll get back in touch with you and find out, and we'll go from there, okay? We're here in Charleston, South Carolina. You can always fly in or travel in, get the vehicle trailered, but there's a lot of cars out here today we're filming that aren't necessarily running, but are great cars to work on and put some cash into and turn them into something extremely special. All right, everybody, I am completely done for the day. I don't see any more cars that I would like to highlight or film at this particular dealership. It's time to go back home and get some editing done and get these cars up onto the channel. Thanks for watching, God bless you, have a great day. Man, summertime is literally here.